Marisa Terzil is going to show us now how to make cheesecake with a twist. What's the twist, Marisa? Well, we're actually going to do a couple of twists today. Mm -hmm. First of all, believe it or not, this is going to be a sweet and skinny cheesecake from my cookbook, Sweet and Skinny. Mm -hmm. And then since we are here in the lovely island of Crete, we are going to be making the goat cheese cheesecake with anthotiro. What we're going to need today is the reduced fat cream cheese, a little bit of sugar, mm -hmm. our anthotiro, some buttermilk, some eggs, and then we're also going to use just the egg whites to make a meringue. I'll talk you through that. Mm -hmm. We have some milk and some ground up graham cracker crumbs. Sounds good. And then we're going to garnish it with some pistachios, mm -hmm. a little bit of honey and lavender syrup, and some pears, or when they're in season in the summertime, you can also do it with fresh figs. Mm, sounds that good sounds also. delicious. Yeah. Yes. Shall we start? <laughs> yes, let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and take our reduced fat cream cheese, mm -hmm and our sugar and we're going to put them into the bowl mm -hmm. and then we're going to go ahead and mix these just for a couple of minutes just until they blend together and then we're going to go ahead and take our anthotiro the anthotiro is one of my favorite greek cheeses so i'm so excited that we're using this today mine as well i love it now we are going to add in the buttermilk and again we'll blend perfect and now we're ready for our egg So now we're going to go ahead and carefully break our eggs into the bowl mm -hmm. and then we're going to carefully remove the yolks. We want to be sure not to break the yolks because if you get any fat into the egg whites, they won't whip up into a lovely meringue. Mm, so that's very important. Okay. And then once we've cleaned our mixer, we're going mm -hmm. to go ahead and mix them again. You can see that after a couple of minutes, they've whipped up nice, light and fluffy. Right, so now we are ready to fold them into the cheesecake batter. So we'll just these right in here. Mm -hmm. Carefully blend them. Now we're ready to make the crust. Let's do it. This is one of my favorite recipes because it's so simple. Mm -hmm. All you do is you take some graham crackers, you add just a little bit of milk mm -hmm. into the ground up crumbs. Just enough so that it's almost like a little bit of damp sand when you go to the beach. I see. All you want to do is have it so that it holds a little bit in your hand, but it doesn't need to hold together all the way. Mm -hmm. We just take this mm -hmm. and we sprinkle it into the pan. And then we're just going to gently spread this out with our hand. Now all we have to do mm -hmm. is pour our cheesecake batter on top of the crust. It looks so nice, Melissa. I cannot wait to try it. And since it's guilt-free as well, oh my gosh. I know, the perfect way to enjoy dessert without having to worry about it, yep. not feeling guilty. And now we have to bake the cheesecake. How long do we need to bake it for? For about 45 minutes, so we still have a little waiting before we get okay. to enjoy I it. I can wait 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Yep. Our cheesecake is now done, so we are ready to garnish it and serve it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these sliced pears, mm -hmm. I'll place those nicely on top, and then we're going to drizzle just a little bit of the lavender honey syrup on top, mm -hmm. and then we'll garnish it with a few little pieces of pistachio. That's always nice because it gives it a little crunch too, adds a little bit of contrasting texture. And then if you want, you can put just a few little lavender blossoms, just more for decoration than for flavor. You don't want to put too much. It looks awesome. You want to try it? Yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited. Mm. <laughs> mm. Just some anthotiro, mm. light cream cheese, mm. meringue. You see how light it makes it with the meringue and you can still taste the anthotiro. Guilt-free. Marisa, congratulations. <laughs> you have to try this at home.